So the bottom line is, and it's all, you know, once again, this is, this is numbers and, and, and whatnot. But what, what happened for me was I, I really started improving a lot faster. And, of course, relaxation has a huge thing. But what happens also is the more in time one plays, the, more, the less energy one typically exerts in order to play. It's like a car that runs at the same speed, gets better gas mileage. So by working this, you learn to hear time, understand it, divide it, chop it up. Same time the technique side, which I'm, I definitely you know, can talk a lot about. The relaxation, the more you relax, the more these cycles, these natural mo cycles of motion tend to become more consistent. So your time becomes more consistent. It's not just all about this. This is just my personal um, thing that, that you know, is kind of unique to, to what, the, the way I teach, you know, I don't think it's anything really different or new. I think that what's different about it is the way it's organized, the way the systems are organized. I, I haven't seen anything like it. Um, but what I have noticed is that students that work on this tend to improve quite fast. They tend to learn faster. Um, a very, very common comment a week or two after someone starts working on one of these sheets is, gee, I was listening to this tune last night that I've been trying to figure out for years. And all of a sudden, I could just, I could hear it, is the term. I could hear it. And then, depending on how long they've worked on this, they have the concentration and, and control, you know, independence, whatever you want to call it, to, uh, to facilitate that. Um, so, where this all really started was me thinking how weird it would be if I could play three against five in a row. That's really how it all started. I, I said, God, I must have been bored. Um, but what happened was I had just started messing with this, and... And at the time, Bill Rieflin w was taking some lessons, and I told him about this, and I kind of showed it to him, and then he gave me this book that says, you've got to read this book, man, because he's, he's a very, he's a, an intellectual, very smart person, and, and he had to give me this book that's called Nata Brahma, which is Sanskrit for um, the world is sound, which is sort of a, in a nutshell, what this is. Um, to me, music, same thing. It's all, it's just manifesting on a different level of consciousness, the same form, the same beauty, the same whatever it is that, that we, we find in, in, in uh, our interpretation of, of beauty. Okay, but, but here you go. You ready? Props, man. That's a, that's a 12 subdivision. Where is it? This quarters. 